How's it going YouTube? This is Levi from Bay Foils, and today we are going to be talking about batteries and motors and speed controllers, but most importantly the battery and how it affects your ride and why it's important and what misconceptions are out there about batteries that are not totally accurate or are accurate. So stay tuned. This is going to be, again, science light, but helpful and informative and hopefully I can get all the all the topics in just one video and it won't be too long. That being said, please like and subscribe. We're really trying to grow our YouTube channel so we can continue to make really nice videos like this and help people out on their eFoil journeys. First things first, we're going to talk a little bit about the electronic system, the motor, the battery, the whole shebang. In our eFoil, we have a a DC motor, direct current motor that uses magnets, electromagnetism. To Fucking magnets! How do they work? To spin really fast, and that's connected to our our propeller, and that's what gives us thrust. If you want to learn more about it, you can Google DC motor YouTube probably, and that the very first video is probably a good one for you to watch. Um, I don't know. I just Googled it. So hopefully you'd learn something from that video if you decided to watch it. But that segues into our first uh, myth about the batteries that we're going to debunk is that the relationship to efoil ride time and the battery isn't super black and white. You know, just because you put in a bigger battery, a 30% bigger battery, doesn't mean we're going to get 30% more ride time. And in general, the capacity of the battery doesn't clearly indicate a guaranteed minutes of ride. If you're riding too much with the board on the surface of the water, or wiping out a bunch, or just bogging the e-foil down, you're not going to be using your battery efficiently. You're going to be pulling more current than you need to, to be gliding over the surface of the water. It's not always the case that just slapping in a bigger battery is going to get you longer ride time. First off, riding better than also riding smartly. Using a bigger wing that gives you more lift allows you to ride at a slower speed, which in turn lets you get longer ride time out of it. So it's not just the battery, it's your whole kit that you're using. We're over here on eSurfer.com. They have a nice chart that shows a lot of different e-foil and jet surf boards and their battery specs. You know, the voltage, kilowatt hours, runtime, weight. They all vary a little bit, but this is all kind of BS. Um, not everyone's going to get the time that they advertise. It can be a good benchmark, but you can't really trust what anyone says about batteries, times. You don't even trust me because I'm going to get a very different time out of my batteries than you will, just based on our weight differences, our foil selection differences, and the speeds that we ride. I like to ride really fast. I want to go fast. I don't get anywhere close to the batter the times that they advertise on the batteries because I'm just cranking it. The other thing about the batteries that's really important to think about too is bigger battery means bigger weight. If you look on this chart here, that's kind of congruent with all the different brands. More capacity means more cells, which means more weight. It's not a guarantee that the extra charge you get is going to translate to the same amount of extra time. You get diminishing returns in this respect. You know, one of the nice things about Flightboard is that on their controller, you have access to all these diagnostic settings. You can see in real time how many kilowatts you're drawing, the RPM of your motor. So you can kind of keep an eye on your settings if you're really concerned with maximizing your time on the water. But overall, it's still really hard to calculate how much current you're going to pull during an entire session because your RPM is not going to stay constant. So it's really difficult to accurately calculate how many minutes you're going to get with a e ride. 
Now, the other major misconception with batteries and e-foils is that like the bigger the better. What's going to make you have more fun on the water is a lighter weight battery. It's kind of the difference between quality, not quantity. In general, saving weight on your e-foil is going to give you much more fun than having a bigger battery that lasts you longer on the water. Now, this misconception comes from the fact that in the beginning days of the e-foil, when they were really expensive and not many people knew what they are, the, the early adopters really cared about having the longest time on the water to justify $13,000. So all the brands kind of wanted to really push the limit of how long you're getting a uh, ride on the water. Fast forward to 2024, when there's a lot of e-foils on the market and people are doing crazier things like surfing and jumps and all sorts of cool tricks. It's less important to have a really long ride, more important to have a really exhilarating ride, doing crazy stuff like surfing boat wake under the Golden Gate Bridge. That's me right there, by the way. Um, you know, doing crazy stuff like that is more fun than just tooling around flat water for an hour and 40 minutes. I think this ride was only 45 minutes. This is 45 minutes of adventure versus two hours of boring. I tell people all the time, stop focusing on maximizing your time on the water and start maximizing your fun on the water. A lighter weight battery doing cool stuff, prioritizing your fun is is key. Worry about trying to max getting every minute out of your battery using a big old wing, riding super slow, not trying to do any tricks. That just leads ultimately to a boring ride. Even if you just have the basic wings, changing from an Explore battery to a Nano battery is going to dramatically like decrease the speed you need to go to keep it up off the water. So even if you don't want to go ride crazy fast, the lighter battery makes it easier to get up off the water and it's much more nimble. So you're going to be able to turn, drive it crazier, even with the same wings that you've been using already with the same board. I almost exclusively go out on nano batteries nowadays because for me, I'd rather have 30 minutes of fun, nimble riding than an hour of boring, heavy riding. Like, there's no comparison. That's a, a, a mental thing that you gotta kind of change and not everybody wants to. Once you do, it, it changes the whole experience. Well, that's it for today's video. I hope I kind of made clear the misconceptions about bigger is better and what's more important, weight or runtime. Please like, subscribe, share with your friends, and we'll see you in the next video.